Hello, fellow Unreal Engine learner. This is Fabrice, and I uh, have a um, little uh, question uh, that I'd like to answer today, and it's a question from Nuno Mota, who said, "Sorry for the ignoring question, but do you can you do still images in Unreal?" And I thought I should just do a quick little video for um, you know you guys who don't know. Uh, obviously, obviously, yes, of course you can do still images in Unreal. Uh, I know it sounds a little bit um, well, sort of super obvious for some of you, but. I get it. It may not be that obvious. So obviously here I'm here uh, in the engine moving around in real time. And um, well, it's a fair, fair enough question. How do you kind of extract stills from that? Um, so I'm going to move around, take a little uh, kind of shot here, which hopefully will give me some problems, uh, which are due to anti-aliasing. So here, what you could do, you know, and I actually do that quite often, is just take the little snip tool from uh, Windows, if uh, you're using Windows, obviously, and you can just go uh, new <laughs> and just take a screenshot like this. And this is brilliant because you can literally open WhatsApp and do Control V. And you, if you're on WhatsApp with your client, Control V from this very window and bam, you press send. Um, and then, you know, they can uh, give with comments and uh, reply straight back to you. So that works really, 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 really well. Now, it, uh, okay, I'll, uh, what you can see here is that some little steps, and it's not crazy, it's not sort of really bad here, but it can be disturbing, a little bit unprofessional. So the next thing that you could do to kind of up that quality a little bit is uh, go in that down arrow here, and you see the screen percentage? Well, you can um, um, increase that to 200 so here, what's happening is that the, uh, well, it's it's increased to 200. So it's effectively, I'm on a kind of a, a 1920 by 1080 screen here. And what you will have is a 4K image reduced down to 1920 by 1080. And uh, <clears throat> you could do the same with this little snip tool. And that's, again, that's very easy. That's, I, I guess, more in the context of, um, work in progress of being able to uh, have, um, I'll cancel that, um, <clears throat> to have feedback. Or uh, what you can, uh, the next sort of step up, even with this sort of 200 screen percentage up, and I think you'll agree with me, things are fairly crisp here, uh, you can do a high resolution screenshot. So here you can use this screenshot multiplier, obviously, if you kind of, uh, Click that little down arrow, high resolution screenshot, and screenshot size multiplier. So do be very careful if you've got screen percentage up by 200. And uh, if I get rid of my face there, you will see screen percentage here 200. So do be very, very careful to use this screenshot multiply and the screenshot to 200 here. So um, I'm going to leave it on one because um, if you read the warning here, it will crash and it will. I can confirm that. It's happened to me many times. So I've got the screen percentage on 200 here and I'm going to leave that on one. So I'll press that button here and you can see that here we have um, a pretty uh, high res kind of screenshot with actually to be honest it doesn't look like it's very different to me uh, all of this is very dependent on the different situations like here it's not too bad but i can see these little steps here at 100 percent. so <clears throat> let's try to uh, um, go back to screen percentage at 100 and then here we can actually start increasing this to three all right and i would not go above that three uh, is going to be a little bit uh, well for me the limit all right so it took a little bit longer we're not in ray tracing here um in ray tracing things are uh, take a little bit long, uh, longer and i've had uh, quite a bit of crashes uh, using this um, up sampling so here if i can see my 
magnifying glass if I double click on this so you see this is now where um, things start breaking down a little bit I'm on 100% in Photoshop and you can see that uh, the stepping is quite bad here so I've kind of up sample I've got a very large image which is image size uh, over 5k so 5760 and uh, so it's a great, it's a high-res image, but we have uh, some anti-aliasing issues, okay? So, uh, there is a reply to this, but I, uh, I'm going to leave that to another video. I just wanted to make this quick videos to uh, for those of you who are completely, completely new, and uh, you're kind of a little bit lost in the interface and don't know how to do um, uh, screen grabs. So do try maybe as a bit of homework to put a uh, 200 percent here and increase the screenshot multiplier to uh, one two three maybe four and kind of see how that works for you and then there is a way to um, um, get rid of the anti-aliasing but uh, i'm going to leave that for another video because it's kind of a little bit more complicated and uh, i kind of uh, don't want it to be too confusing using so stay put for another video very very soon thank you very much uh, for your attention and have a fantastic day